In the annals of crime, few names carry the same mix of dread and intrigue as Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, the former kingpin of the Sinaloa cartel. His reign of terror fueled by the illicit drug trade left a trail of devastation in its wake. But now, the once untouchable drug lord has been brought to justice, confined to a life of solitude in an escape-proof fortress known as ADX Florence. El Chapo's life of crime was as audacious as it was deadly. He built a drug empire that spanned continents, smuggling vast quantities of narcotics into the United States. The charges against him painted a picture of a man who would stop at nothing to maintain his power. He was found guilty on all 10 counts related to drug smuggling, forever sealing his fate. The trial, one of the most high profile in recent memory, was a spectacle in itself. Held under the tightest security, the proceedings exposed the dark underbelly of the international drug trade. With each testimony, the world got a glimpse into the brutal and ruthless world of El Chapo. Now, instead of ruling over a criminal empire, El Chapo is confined to a 7 foot by 12 foot cell for 23 hours a day in ADX Florence, a prison in Colorado known for housing the country's most dangerous criminals. The amenities, if one can call them that, are minimal. A stool, bed, desk, toilet and a shower controlled by a timer. The exercise area is a bleak concrete pit, a far cry from the sprawling mansions El Chapo once called home. The narrow windows of his cell offer only views of the sky and the roof. It's a design meant to disorient and to prevent any thoughts of escape. After all, El Chapo was notorious for his daring prison breaks. But at ADX Florence, escape is a fantasy. The prison is a fortress, fortified with motion detectors, cameras, steel doors and razor wire fences. El Chapo's new neighbors include some of the most notorious criminals, like the Boston Marathon bomber and a former Islamic fundamentalist preacher. Good behavior can earn an inmate a black and white TV, a small concession in a world devoid of luxuries. El Chapo's fall from power serves as a stark reminder of the severe consequences of a life of crime. The once feared drug lord is now just another inmate, serving out a life sentence in the harshest of conditions. The Kingpin's castle has been replaced by a steel and concrete cell, his empire reduced to a 7 by 12 foot room. In the end, El Chapo's story is a cautionary tale. A man who once seemed invincible is now confined to a life of solitude, paying the price for his crimes. From a reign of terror to a life behind bars, El Chapo's tale is a stark reminder of the weight of justice.